Hello friends, now we have start making, visitor management system. In the Laravel framework, from the scratch, and under this part. In this part, first we will download and install Laravel framework. After this, we will make MySQL database connection, with Laravel application. After making database connection, we will create users table from Laravel application. And next we will add new fields in users table, from Laravel application, using migration file. In this part, first we want to download, and install Laravel framework. So for this, we have go to command prompt, and under this. We have go to our working directory, in which we want to install Laravel framework. And after this, we have to run command like Composer create project, prefer dist laravel slash laravel, with folder name So this command will download, latest version of laravel framework, under this folder After run this command, it will start download, and it will take some time for download Once laravel framework has been downloaded, now we have opened this, under text editor So here in text editor, we can see, the directory structure, of this Laravel framework. After download, now first we want to make database connection. But before make database connection, here in PHP my admin. Here we can see visitor management database, so under this database. We will create required table for visitor management system, by using Laravel migration file. Now make database connection, here we have to open, this .environment file. And under this file, we have to define my SQL database configuration like. Database host is equal to local host, database name is equal to, visitor management. In database user name, we have to write root, and in password we have remain to blank. So after define this configuration, it will make my SQL database connection. After making my SQL database connection, now we want to create users table. So for, we have go to migration directory, and here we have to open this migration file for users table. And under this file, here we can see the table column details. Now for create users table, from this Laravel application, we have to go command prompt. And here we have to run, php artisan migrate command. So this command, we create users table, under visitor management database. Now here in php my admin, visitor management database, here we can see that users table has been created. After creating user table, but now, we want to add new column in users table. So for this, we have go to command prompt, and here we want to create migration file. So for this, here we have to run, php artisan make migration, add new fields to users table. So this command will create, new migration file, under database migration directory. Now here we can see that new migration file has been created, now we have to open this file. So here we can see that, add new field to users table migration class, and under this. We can see that up and down method, and in up method, we can see schema class, with table method. And under this method, we can see users table, so suppose we want to add column in users table. So under this method, we have to write, dollar table variable, with enum method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write column name type, and in second argument. We have to write data type value, so here we have to write admin, and user in array format. So after define new table column details, now we want to migrate this definition to my SQL database. So for this, here in command prompt, we have to run php artisan migrate command, so it will migrate add new fields migration file, to users table. And it will new type column, into users table. Now here, we have refreshed this users table page. 
And here we can see that type column has been added in users table. So this way we can add custom column in MySQL table from Laravel application. After new fields in users table, now we want to define this column details in user model class. So from this model directory, we have to open this model class file. And under this class file, here in dollar fillable variable, we have to add new column details. Under this dollar fillable variable, so here we have to write type column name. So in this part, we have learned how to download and install latest Laravel framework using composer command. Then after we seen how to make MySQL database connection, next we have seen how to create users table. In the MySQL table from Laravel application, and lastly we have discussed how to add new column in the existing MySQL table from Laravel application. In next part, we will learn how to create master blade template in Laravel framework.